Hi, welcome to another Land Obsession. And something, we're going to be answering a couple of questions about what Disney's takeover of Fox means, especially to the characters that are used, the, the Marvel characters. It happens now because they're all in Universal. What's going on there? Yeah, we've had some questions asked to us, asked our opinions, and yeah. this is where your business head takes over. Well, I guess. So. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> so, if you've been paying any attention to the press and to the media lately, you'll be aware that Disney now own Fox, which means that they now have the rights of being returned of a number of Marvel characters. Um, and also there's a lot of characters which are still at the Universal theme parks, whereas Disney own Marvel. So what's going on? People are speculating that Universal will have to give up all the all the Marvel characters soon and the Marvel superhero landing or superhero island and and you know, at Islands of Adventure and so what gives. So let's explain exactly what's going on in this one and what it means. The short answer is for now nothing. So you can stop the video right there. Don't stop the video, but you could stop the video right there. <laughs> Nothing's changing right now. Here's what happened though. Before Disney bought Marvel, Marvel were in dire straits financially. And so they sold the rights to a lot of their characters to several film studios. And they also sold the rights to using some of their characters to theme parks. Hence Universal Studios getting the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, so they're big licenses and Fox bought the rights to use X-Men and they bought the rights to use the Fantastic Four Sony bought Spider-Man rights and so they, they sort of they just they just sold dispersed yeah they, Dis they sold the farm basically yeah. to everyone then Disney bought Marvel they went with you know Avengers and Iron Man some at the time some of the lesser known heroes they went with the Guardians of the Galaxy nobody read Guardians of the Galaxy but that was an IP that they had and they thought okay so they made films with it and they've done very very well and now Disney have bought Fox which means the X-Men has gone back, have gone back to Disney. The Fantastic Four have gone back to Disney. They've done a deal with Sony, which is how Spider-Man is now back kind of with Disney, although Sony can still make those films, but there's this crossover with the Marvel Universe. <laughs> That's another story. That's another story. <laughs> but what does it mean for Fox? Because The Simpsons, which is at Universal, is owned by Disney. Their Marvel characters are owned by Disney, but they're in Universal. But there are some Disney parks, like in Paris and in California, where they're using Marvel characters. So what's going on? Explain. I should explain. So, Universal have the rights to use Marvel characters or some Marvel characters as long as they keep using them. Now in, Cal in Orlando, they use them at Islands of Adventure and that's fine and that's going to stay. Disney are kind of happy with the deal, they're still making tons of money. Now in California, Universal also had the rights to use them, but because they didn't, then that deal kind of lapsed. There's a little bit of a complication. Disney can't use the Marvel name in California, but they can use the characters, which is why we're getting Guardians of the Galaxy, we're getting Iron Man stuff there. It's <clears> kind of a good thing because now we get to see what Universal are going to do with them. Yeah. As well as Disney, we're kind of getting the best of both worlds. Oh, and, and there was a big rumour, so, I, mean, I think it was more than a rumour, that Universal were actually going to return the rights of the characters to Disney and rebrand their superhero stuff all around DC. So we were going to get Batman and we were going to get, you know, all of that Marvel area was going to become a DC area with Batman and Superham. Super Superham? <laughs> And Superman. But then the DC films didn't do so well in the box office and they all went a bit pear-shaped. So I think that I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. I think I think things are going to stay just as they are for now, if for I'm now. honest. So they have to be very careful at, at Disney to not make like people like Guardians part of the Avengers. They mm -hmm. have to just stay as uh, outside the, helping yeah. the Avengers, but not an Avenger. Yeah. However, and this is a separate video, Universal's Fantastic Worlds is coming, a brand new theme park. You wanna watch that one because there's some rumors coming about DC tie-ins right there. But that's another video altogether. If you, want, if you want to see more of this sort of content, then hit that subscribe button and smash that alarm bell. If you've got any uh, any more curious, or cu any questions about this sort of thing, then leave them in the comments and below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, hit the dislike. Popping up over there is the last show we put out, and below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the very next show. Bye bye. bye. Hi, welcome to another. Hi, Hello. welcome to another. <laughs> Stop again.